Hi, and a welcome to On the Mark with Arpit. This is a new podcast that Mark C. Graves and me, Arpit Sharma, are going to start. Uh, it's something that's been in the pipeline for at least a year, and it's only been delayed because I'm very, very lazy. Uh, it's not Mark's fault. Uh, but here we are finally getting things started. So we'll just have a little bit of an introduction so that you know who we are, in case you don't know who we are. Uh, my name is Arpit Sharma. I've been in sports broadcast for about eight years now. I've been a sports fan for longer, obviously. Uh, and I've had the pleasure of meeting Mr. Mark C. Graves over the course of my broadcast. Uh, Mark, why don't you introduce yourself? Hi, everybody. My name is Mark C. Graves, and I'm an ex-professional footballer who's played for such clubs as the mighty Liverpool, mighty Man City, Bolton, Swindon, Norwich. Um, and I've coached in the Premier League also with the likes of Wigan Athletic, and Derby County. So I came to India 13 years ago uh, to be technical director of Arsenal Soccer Schools and I find myself 13 years later sat aside, Mr Sharma here, um, doing work for, for Sony uh, for such such huge uh, productions as the UCL, uh, the FA Cup and the Bundesliga. So it's nice to get back. Arpit said that he wasn't very good, he's lazy and I'm not very good technically so we make a good pair. Yeah, and, and safe to say you've peaked now, Mark, after listening to everything that you've achieved in your life that you're here on on the mark with Arpit. Uh, and uh, the reason we're starting this podcast is, I mean, one of the biggest reasons I think we're starting this is so that we can just, you know, say what we want. Uh, we both know each other pretty well. Uh, we're comfortable with each other. We think we have a little bit of chemistry, which might or might not be true. Uh, I, over the course of my eight years in broadcast, have... I believe matured a little in terms of understanding football, uh, understanding tactics, what players actually do in positions. My understanding has grown is what I feel. Uh, and Mark obviously is funny, which is why I think this <laughs> is something that should work. Uh, Mark, uh, I do believe that both of us are neutral. So I think that's uh, a good thing to specify. Neutral in terms of our analysis, not so neutral mm -hmm. in terms of our support. So let's get that out of the way as well. If Manchester United are playing a match, I want Manchester United to win. And Mark, for you? If Liverpool are playing a match, I want Liverpool to win. But also, um, I want Manchester City to win and all my previous clubs <laughs> that I played with. But Liverpool is, is closest to my heart. Mm. Yeah, so that's what we figured. But when it comes to analysis, uh, you know, we'll try to be as neutral as we can. It won't be as biased because we've been around fans and we've seen how... A die-hard fan reacts and sometimes they're wearing rose-tinted glasses and we believe we, we don't have them on. And uh, I'd like to believe that this will not just be a football podcast. Of course, primarily we'll talk about football because we're heavily involved in it. Uh, thanks to the Sony Sports Network, we have been covering major football tournaments for a while. But we will talk about other things as well. Uh, the things that, of course, apart from football, that we can totally... Uh, speak about is our own lives and our life experience and Mark has a lot there are things I get to know about him pretty much every day uh, so we will be talking about that but like we said primarily it'll be football we'll just enjoy talking about everything that we can sometimes that we can't express on television like Mark and I were just having this discussion on uh, you know whether we can drop an f-bomb once in a while and I mean I think that should be okay Mark well, I'd like to think so. We've got to keep it real, Arpit. And by keeping it real, you've got to be able to say what you want and, and, and what you feel uh, and express it in, in different ways. So, yeah, it's going to be that sort of a, of a podcast. And hopefully people will look and, and like what we're, we're trying to do and, and understand what we're trying to achieve here as well. Yep, and hopefully we'll get better with this because we're just starting off. Uh, I'm trying to get this done on a laptop that is 14 years old. And, you know, we faced our own issues trying to set this up and hopefully we'll smooth them over. Uh, just a thing about how I started supporting Manchester United, because obviously I've not grown up in Manchester. Uh, one of the first, I was a diehard cricket fan, by the way. I used to play cricket. I used to want to become a cricketer at one point of time. Uh, that was the dream. And then when I was in college, people used to talk about football and I had no idea about it. So I tried to watch football. I didn't know the leagues. I didn't know the players. I just happened to watch a match where a team in red were playing a team in white. And the team in white was destroying the team in red. Uh, 
they scored three goals by half time I, i didn't know what half time was back then but i figured that okay there's a break and the team in white is leading and i said wow that's a great team and then post the break the team in red comes back and just absolutely smashes the team in white uh they end up winning 5-3 and i think wow this team in red is really cool i need to find out a little bit about them and they turned out to be manchester united with the likes of beckham keane scholes and since then for the past uh, 21 years i've been following them i've been following football hardcore and i've been supporting them mark did you also come about supporting liverpool that way well where i'm from in liverpool you're either a liverpool supporter or you're an everton supporter and fortunately for me all my family were were on the red side of 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 the divide so i was brought up as a liverpool supporter my brother played for liverpool professionally also uh, and i followed in his footsteps so yeah we grew up in in the 70s and 80s liverpool were probably the best team in definitely in europe if not if not the world so we were watching lots of games like you were watching our pit these 5-3s and 6-1s and different yeah. things uh and you know all the best players used to go to liverpool at that particular time so it was really good to go and and watch them and especially on the the champions league nights you know my first game was a was a game where liverpool played saint etienne uh and the and the mm. floodlights and the atmosphere and the and the result it was magical and that was the thing that really got me really really interested in wanting to become one of those players who can go out and mm. play and and become and stand in front of 30 40,000 uh and show them how how good or bad or indifferent I was and yeah uh, and I'm thinking back now and it becomes quite emotional because you know I wish I was back there then and be able to do it all again um mm. but yes if football brings all the emotions out in everybody whether it's you know even with me and you last night our conversations while watching the the game was was great wasn't which it which will and, be what we'll talking about <laughs> next yeah yeah but it, it was amazing to to see your side of it my side of it and then your side of it and my side of it. again <laughs> totally different emotions so Yeah, yeah and that's what football that's what football's all about i mean i i've been brought up as well uh, playing cricket i could have been a professional cricketer as well uh, but i chose to go down the footballing route because my dad was a footballer everyone wants to be a footballer um so yeah i i picked the the, the right sport for me but um mm. as much as i love football i'm so interested in all things that are sport yeah. golf cricket tennis anything that that happens so this is not just hopefully not going to be just about football and and about liverpool and manchester united it's going to be about the whole sporting gamut yep probably poker as well as i understand you do <laughs> like a little bit of uh, a poker night during the week so maybe that comes into play as well uh, an ever increasing game or sport if you want to call it uh, but yeah we'll delve into specifics later for now we just wanted to do an introduction let you know who we are uh, the match that mark has already uh, referenced that i told him not to talk about is something that we're <laughs> going to cover later on so that we can have a dedicated uh, video for that but this was about the introduction mark any parting thoughts before we go is just a simple goodbye just a simple goodbye because i'm a simple fellow and oh, and, yes. and and a bit like you as well on that respect up but <laughs> yeah i mean hopefully it'll be interesting enough for people to not just watch once to keep coming yeah. back and watch so that's the that, that's the goal for me yeah i mean and if you keep complimenting each other like that it might just <laughs> not be a football podcast it might just turn into something else but for now yeah that's about it uh we are on the mark with arpit and i hope you enjoyed this introduction